Have you ever written or saved something brilliant and then lost it in the chaos of apps and tabs and screenshots and everything else that lives inside your browser history? It's like playing hide and seek with my own brain. So let me show you something. I'm going to ask this system one question. Summarize learning from all the videos I've watched on this topic this year. No way. You're joking. This is the kind of upgrade that will make 2026 your most productive year yet. Not many people talk about this, but there is one key reason why most productivity systems fail, because your ideas are not the problem. Actually, your ideas are great. The real problem is your storage system. Most people save links in one app and notes in another, a screenshot somewhere else, and then act surprised when nothing connects. But you know, doing that is like building a library by randomly throwing books into different cupboards around your house. So if 2026 is going to be the year where your productivity changes gear, you need one place for all your thinking. And for me, that is where Recall and its brand new update comes in. Now, if you missed my original video about Recall, here's the big idea. It's like having an AI powered encyclopedia for everything you know. YouTube videos, PDFs, web pages, notes, you just save everything in here and then Recall automatically sorts it into categories and makes connections between related resources. And then you can use their AI chat to interrogate it all and draw out insights. Very, very cool. Let me show you seven ways that it can help you out. Number one, it's important to have one big home for all our thinking. Now, here's an example using Recall's brand new note taker. Now, up until recently, Recall had focused on streamlining all of your saved online content, but they're now also focused on the content you create. So you can now take your own rich text notes with block style right in the app. Check this out. If I open a new note in Recall, type out a new blog I'm working on. Whenever I hit the slash key, I've got tables, headings, to do's, code blocks, and even equations to choose from. This is a fully featured note editor that feels clean and fast, a bit like Notion had a clever child, but you know, one that actually listens to you. So I'm going to build a new document called my 2026 playbook. I can add some sections here and I can reorder them with drag and drop. I can also use this new table of contents feature so that I stop scrolling around like I'm digging for treasure. Now here's the fun bit. When you take your own notes and then recall them, they still have the same AI powers as other content that you've saved. So you can now chat with your own notes. You can summarize them, quiz yourself on your own notes and connect related notes together. Everything is integrated in one place. Number two, I'm going to call make learning stick. And that means just stopping pretending that you remember everything because we know that's not true. You know, there's that awkward moment when you take loads of notes in a meeting and then you never look at them again. Well, with recall, when you make a note, you can hit forward slash and then run an AI summary, concise or detailed, your call. You can also turn your notes into a quiz. Perfect if you're cramming for a test or an important pitch that you're working on. I've actually started using Recall to explain something to me using all of my saved content. Not just one article, but a huge collection of multiple resources. It's a great way of summarizing the week's news or maybe building a research for a new video idea. Hey, check this out. Watch how Recall is actually pulling insights from all of my videos, articles, and saved notes. And you know, this is what makes this app so different. It replicates how you actually learn stuff, which is not by hoarding loads of information, but by interacting with it and naturally making connections. Number three, capture everything fast. And I'll be honest, this is where I usually fail. See, I tend to see something that I think is interesting. And then I tell myself that I will save it later. And then I do not do that. And this is where Recall's browser extension has been a bit of a lifesaver recently. I can use it to summarize a YouTube video or any PDF, even one of those marathon four hour podcasts that I never really get time to listen to past the intro. And if I need to, I can edit that summary right here in the sidebar and then save it into my knowledge base. And if we go ahead and have a look at my recall system, check this out. Everything that I just saved gets organized with tags without me ever having lifted a finger. It kind of feels like having this incredibly efficient assistant who will never judge you for your questionable browsing history, like say this lot. What? That's a kind of my thing these days, all right? Number four, use AI that actually knows you. So this is where Recall kind of gets a bit weird, but in a really good way. If I open global chat, I can ask, based on my journaling and the videos that I've saved, what should I focus on in 2026? And just watch how it responds. It pulls from your notes. In my case, these are my goals, my saved content, and all my thinking from my journals. This is not 
generic AI. This is AI that really feels like it knows you because it always uses content you know you can trust because guess what? You put everything in there that it's searching from. Number five, pick a system that spots connections you haven't seen yet. Let's open up the connections view. This is a bit like looking inside your brain, all the connections and interconnections across your saved ideas and content. Uh, from this graph, we can see everything or we can drill down and filter it by category. If you like to think visually and you're coming from a tool like Obsidian, I reckon this is far more powerful. Now look at this, recall review can actually build a spaced repetition schedule to help me consolidate and learn the stuff I want to deepen my knowledge around. I've been using this feature for a while now and honestly, it really works. It helps you accumulate more knowledge, but without having to wade through the stuff around the periphery to get at what you need. I'm not big on setting generic resolutions, but I often set learning goals for the year ahead. Now this review feature is a brilliant way to build a process around your learning, whatever it is you might wanna learn. It's a bit like having Duolingo, but for anything you want to learn, not just a language. Give this a try and I bet you won't wanna go back. Number six, capture on the go because you will not remember this later. So Recall have dedicated apps for your iPad and phone, as well as the web browser that I've been showing so far in the video. And this means that you've got all the tools you need to capture stuff when you're out and about. And in iOS, this works with all of the share sheet functions. So whatever it is you want to remember, you just hit share and it'll save it straight into Recall. That means you can do things like take a quick note in the queue at the shops or search for something that you wrote a few weeks ago, but you have zero memory of. Even if you've had one of those days, your ideas are going to survive. And trust me, that's a big weight off your mind. Number seven, build a really simple productivity system that does most of the hard work for you. Okay, so I promise that this is a tool that will supercharge your productivity this year. And here's what I'd recommend doing after you sign up for an account. Simply create three notes. Number one is your 2026 goals. Number two is your daily dashboard. And number three is your learning tracker. Then bulk import all your old bookmarks or markdown notes from whatever system you're already using. Save your most used sources and then use the new editor to shape those three notes as you want. You can use Recall to fill it in for you too. So you can use chat, summaries and quizzes each week to keep on top of what you want to remember and what you're working towards. It's really simple and it works. And I guarantee this will explode your productivity. And no, you do not need a color coded planner or a new personality to get it all done. So if you wanna try out Recall and get all of these new upgrades, check out my link in the description or you can scan this code over here. And if you're quick, you can start building your 2026 system now before the new year gets busy. Meanwhile, if you wanna see any more about how I've been using Recall so far, just check out this one over here. See you next time.